Hey, I wanted to record just a little video to show you how to view, add, and subscribe to the public calendars that we use at the junior high and high school for things like testing calendars or to make a reservation for the library or a computer lab, and then how to make sure that you're entering that data into the correct calendar. And then if you wanted to make it an all day event, I'm gonna show you how to do that as well. So first, you wanna make sure that you're inside of Outlook. And the most common, time, most common problem I see with people in Outlook is that they're not connected to the server. So the way to verify that in Outlook in the lower right hand corner, you just want to make sure it says connected to Christian Unified. And as long as it says that, you should be working just fine. So I'm going to go up to tools and underneath tools, I'm going to say public folders and Christian Unified is already going to be the option for public folders. So you're going to look for calendars and in this example, I'm going to add the high school exams. So I would hit subscribe and without doing anything else, just close out of that window and go to calendars and most likely you'll see this which is just your public excuse me your personal calendars with no shared calendars in your calendar view to view the shared calendars you need to check the box next to subscribe public folders and then make sure that the high school exam is also checked now I can look at and view what tests are being put in where and hopefully try and uh, guide my exams along like not stacking too many at one time but this is not what you do to enter a exam. A lot of times what I see people do is right from here from this screen, go ahead and say like, I'm going to make a AP test. And they believe because they view it here and it didn't change the color or anything weird that they're on the right calendar. But if I turn off the public calendars, I notice that didn't go away because in order to enter something onto that calendar from a Mac, you have to highlight the calendar that you want to enter it into. So after I highlight this, it's going to say which calendar it's going to. So I'll do it again the correct way. First, I'm gonna go back to my calendar and delete that event. And then I'm gonna select by clicking on the CUSSD button. I, I do need to make sure it's checked, but then I need to make sure it's highlighted all the way across. And now I just double click the day and say AP test. And I do see the option here to select all day event, which any test you always want to put in as an all day event. So now I know I put in my test, it's selected for all day. I'm going to say save and close. And the way I check to make sure that it's put on the right calendars, if I turn it off, it should go away. When I turn it back on, it should come back. So now I know that that test has been put through to the calendar and everybody junior high and high school can see that on our shared public calendar. And that's how you do it using Outlook. Thank you.